uh, uh, we will talk about today the estimation. The uh, students face hair problems while estimating the physical quantities. Actually, there are five marks usually come for the estimation as the first question usually. Uh, but students miss one or two marks here. Uh, it's not necessary that whatever the examiner can ask, but I have given here uh, some few things uh, which I'll be estimating. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, its estimation should always be in one significant figure. Estimation is always in one significant figure, uh, or at the most two, unless exact value of the quantity is known. If you know the exact value, you can quote the exact value. But I, if you are not sure about that thing, then you can go for one significant figure at the most two. But not more than two significant figures, estimation is allowed. So, for example, <coughs> excuse me, uh, suppose examiners ask, Okay, how many estimate the number of days in the year and suppose you know the exact value it's 365.25 days 365.25 days then you can always quote that value 365.25 days then they will accept but uh, you can also write 365 days 365 days in a year but suppose if you want to estimate you really do not know suppose for example uh, then you can estimate it suppose 370 days 370 days or 360 days or even 400 days you can estimate. Second thing is prefaces can be used. You can use um, suppose um, centimeters, millimeters, nanometers or something like that. What are the prefixes you can, know, you can use that one also. But and also estimation should always be SI units. But Celsius, liters, electron volt or kilowatt or can be used in estimations. Uh, now, um, uh, for example, um, if, if suppose, if, but you cannot uh, use the Fahrenheit. Uh, sometimes students use the Fahrenheit, for example, uh, it, it is asked what is the normal human temperature of the body. And if you su suppose 98 point um, uh, something, 98 degree Fahrenheit or 98.4 degree Fahrenheit or 98, but that will be that wrong. Fahrenheit is not accepted by the Cambridge syllabus. Uh, then you have to suppose give 37 degree C or 37 degree Celsius. Uh, now here are the few estimations I have just written because it is time consuming really to write all those things and to uh, finish with the lecture time. So I have just written a few quantities, a few are here written but examiners can go from the, beyond this one. So I have just written length, mass, volume and speed but examiners can ask about the frequency also, about any anything, any physical quantity they can ask. Um, whether it is a syllabus or it is not a syllabus but you must be knowing that quantity. Uh, that will be from the everyday life. Suppose I have given here radius of earth. Uh, I will just give this all values in meters. But if you wish, you can use the kilometers and things separately. Radius of earth is uh, actually 6400 kilometers exact value are in meters 6 into 10 power 6 meter I can approximate. Actually its value is 6.4 or 6.37 10 power 6 meter. But I am just quoting this value. Uh, there is a distance between sun and earth. Exact value is 1.49 into 10 power 11 meters. But I can accept, suppose I can quote it 1.5 into 10 power minus 11 meters written. Even if I write 10 power minus 11, that's also right. Length of a fly or a mosquito, it can be 1 millimeter, uh, 1 or 2 millimeters. I can say 2 meters there, so I can say 2 into 10 power minus 3. I'm ex estimating one significant figure. Then height of a classroom. Now, this way, classroom uh, height is 5 meters, I think. 7 meters, 6 meters or 8 meters, uh, but I, if I have a meter rule, I can see its height seems to be uh, seems to be 5 meters or 6 meters, whatever you uh, suppose right. It must not be greater than uh, the common sense, suppose uh, it must be only say, I will write just 5 meters. Thickness of a paper. Now here various values can be used. It's not necessarily the exact value you are using, uh, but you have just estimate example words. Okay, uh, how you are thinking for the very smaller quantities and for very bigger quantities. So thickness of paper, I can just uh, see uh, it can be uh, suppose um, 0 0.01 millimeters even. Milli is there, so I can say it is suppose 1 into 10 power minus 5 meters or 10 power minus 5 meters. 10 power minus is there. Length of football ground is 90 meters. This way you can change. Done this thing, just example of words, okay, how much 
you are uh, estimating the things 10 power minus 4 you can write 10 power four minus 4 meter I mean okay uh, then diameter of an atom usually uh, you estimate 10 power minus 10 meters diameter of a nucleus is 10 power minus 15 meter wavelength of the visible light now wavelength of visible light varies from 300 nanometers you can write 300 nanometers to 700 nanometers here in between you can uh, always write one value suppose I am writing 500 nanometers Meters, meters written so I write 500 into 10 power minus 9 here. Yeah. Then I am going to uh, some masses. I says mass of the earth. Mass of the earth I'm, uh, it is uh, 6 into 10 power 24 kg. Mass of sun is 2 into 10 power 30 kg. Mass of a shark is 1000 kg. Kg is written there. Mass of human is 70 kg or 80 kg or 90 kg. Whatever you write. But see care must be taken. If example asks what is the weight of a human person then you should write not 770 but you should write 700 newton mass of a frog mass of frog can be 100 gram or 200 gram uh, so 100 gram in kilogram is 0 0.1 kg mass of a mosquito it will be 1 milligram 1 milligram or 10 power 1 into 10 power minus 6 kg mass of an apple now you can see if you uh, purchase apple uh, apples are 1 kg, there are 4 or 5 apples, so 250 grams are 200 grams. So 200 grams or 300 grams will be a better approximation. But suppose I am uh, approximating it as uh, 200 grams, then I can write 0 0.2 kg. Mass of protector is 10 gram. 10 gram is okay, 20 gram, 10 gram, 20 gram. These are the very uh, accurate, uh, these are the, some proper approximations. Now 10 gram, if divided by 1000, it becomes 0 0.01 kg then uh, mass of a meter rule mass of a meter is almost 100 gram so I will write 0 0.1 uh, gram mass of an elephant is 6000 kg mass of an elephant is 6000 kg uh, suppose this is mass of the air in your classroom since air is a density of uh, we know the air density density of the air is 1.2 1. kg per meter cube or 1 suppose and uh, I have a, I will find the volume of the mass. So uh, suppose if examiner says mass of air in your classroom, mass of air in your classroom, you can always suppose at suppose uh, 200 kg. It can be it can vary from 100 to 500 kg. Now volume of a class uh, suppose five here, uh, eight here, five here, after some five there. So I'll be supposing that 200 meter cube. Volume of air in class is also same 200 meter cube almost. Volume of human head. Now human head is I suppose it can be a sphere. I can take this volume of the sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So 3 and pi cancel together. So 5 r cube, 4 r cube. R of a human head can be human normal human head give 10 centimeters, 4000 centimeter cube. So I can write suppose 4000 centimeter cube is also correct but since I have written a meter cube so I will be changing this in meter cube if 4000 centimeter cube is changing in meter cube 4000 centimeter cube is 10 power minus 2 meter whole cube so 4000 into 10 power minus 6 meter cube so it's 4 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube I can write here 4 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube volume of a cup of tea now volume of a cup of tea, you can just like, uh, you can take, it is just a uh, cylinder, a cylinder of radius 5 cm and height also suppose, a uh, height can have, a, uh, this is the 5 cm, height can be also 5 cm, so height of cylinder, uh, volume of cylinder is pi r square, it's pi is almost 3, r will be 25, h is suppose 5, so uh, if I take this 4, then this will be 100 into 5, so it is uh, 500 centimeter cube. So 500 centimeter cube, a uh, volume of air, a uh, uh, volume of a tea. But cup of tea can be, I uh, suppose, double. To, you can even suppose up to 1,000 will be also because some people have a very uh, huge cup of teas. I can say just 500 centimeter cube. So I can write 500 centimeter cube here. Or if I wish, I change into meter cube. Then it will be uh, 500 into 10 power minus 6 uh, meter cube. Or I suppose 5 10 power minus 4 also on this one you can write and the volume of body uh, blood in body is actually 5 liters almost 5 liters actually 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube so you can have 
uh, written as this as 5000 centimeter cube also if you want to write 5000 centimeter cube or in if you want to change the meter cube that will be then uh, 5 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube also you can write uh, this volume of the human uh, volume of blood in the body then there are some speeds speed, so, speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second speed of sound in water is uh, 1500 meters per second speed of sound in solids is 5000 meters per second a snail's speed is usually 1 millimeter per second so I will have 1 into 10 power minus 3 meters jumbo jet speed is 250 meters per second fastest person is 10 meters per second these are a few speeds speeds can be of different types also um, you can ask suppose the speed of the light the speed of light must be suppose the speed of light if you have to explain it will be uh, 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second a universal constant the speed of light in this one so sometimes suppose the example ask uh, a common question is uh, what is the range of uh, frequency of the uh, audible frequency uh, which a human body can hear suppose the range is uh, it is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so whatever when you write here suppose you write 500 hertz uh, it's okay so if you ask what is the frequency of a uh, uh, normal frequency which a human ear a human ear can hear is from 20 hertz 20 kilohertz he can ask various other quantities uh, he can ask for the density suppose density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube or he can ask about the pressure the atmosphere pressure atmosphere pressure is almost 100 kilopascals or uh, once they have asked atmosphere in terms of the depth of water if you have the uh, depth of water using p is equal to rho gh you will find the h is the 10 meter so after each 10 meter depth uh, there is a 100 kilopascal or actually one uh, actual value of normal atmosphere pressure you know is 1.01 into 10 power 5 pascals or uh, almost 101 kilopascal but we can estimate 100 kilopascals so we can estimate the length uh, for that one is 10 meters